Round two of the TCR International Series saw Kevin Gleeson make a brilliant start from third on the grid to lead going into turn one, with his young Finnish teammate Aku Pelinen making it a 1-2 for West Coast Racing. jean carl Verne's Volkswagen was soon sporting body damage after contact with another car, but the damage meant that at the start of lap two, the Leopard Racing Team Golf was easily passed down the start-finish straight by the Kraft Bamboo Lukoil Seat of Pepe Oriola, the winner of race one. The race soon went from bad to worse for the Leopard team, when 2015 TCR champion Stefano Comini made contact with Mikhail Grachov's Golf. The collision caused the rear tyre to come off the wheel rim and Comini spun before limping into the pits, his race over. On lap three, Oriola picked off his next victim, the Honda Civic of Pelinen. Weaving to the right going down to turn 14, Oriola timed his move brilliantly and so moved into second place behind Gleason. His move on Pelinen was then repeated going into turn one by his teammate James Nash, who also dived past Oriola while the Spaniard was defending from the Finn. Pelinen soon came under attack from Gianni Morbidelli in the other West Coast racing car, and the experienced Italian picked his moment to snatch fourth place. Nash fought with Oriola for the remainder of the race, but at the start of lap five, Oriola handed out a taste of his own medicine to the British driver, diving past under braking for turn one to retake second place. On lap seven, TCR newcomers Dusan Borkovic and David Kajaya were fighting for seventh place, with the Seat driver snatching seventh going into turn 11. By now, Verne had been black flagged for the body damage, and he ran off the track before heading for the pits, while also failing to finish was the Alfa Romeo Giulietta of Michaela Ciruti, which pulled up on lap eight. But the lead was about to change hands. Oriola had already tasted victory and was hungry for another. He attacked Gleason and was able to muscle his way past. And when Gleason tried to retake the lead, he was also nudged by James Nash, who moved into second place. But there was worse to come for Gleason, as his teammate Gianni Morbidelli made a move to grab third place. The pair made contact, and you can see something fly off Gleason's car. The American driver then went straight on when he lost his brakes at turn 14, but the collision had also caused a puncture on Morbidelli's car, and the rubber came off the wheel rim on the final lap. Oriola duly took his second win of the weekend, with a delighted James Nash making it a 1-2 for Kraft Bamboo Lukoil, and a slightly surprised Pelinen third, thanks to the incident involving his two colleagues. This was how the race finished, with Morbidelli eventually finishing ninth behind Jordi Oriola, Pepe's younger brother, who scored the first points for the new Opel Astra. There was also a single point for the Subaru of Luigi Ferrara, which finished tenth. But if you watch a replay of the start, Pelinen, fifth on the grid, clearly moved before the lights went out, and the 30-second penalty he was given by the stewards meant that while he might have finished on the podium, he was later demoted to tenth place. I didn't expect to, to have this uh, second win, uh, especially after the first lap, because I was I saw that it was a lot of cars in front. I, ha I hadn't uh, have had a good start because like the clowns was not working well, so I didn't have the start that James and you had yesterday. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be tough. Uh, I just I was just looking for the podium of the points. Yeah.